I am going to show you how I heat style my wigs. This is the Beltress style pike place in the color Bombshell Blonde. Out of the box, I love this side of the wig. This side I do not. The waves, it just, it's got box hair. In shipping, I think it got a little askew, so I'm going to fix it with heat styling. This is the Infinity Pro Curling Iron by Conair. I purchased this at Walmart. It was rather inexpensive. And what I like about it, it has the degrees, so you know exactly how many degrees it is. And with the Beltress Heat Friendly Fiber, we do not want to go over 350 degrees. In fact, you'll see, I don't even need it that hot. I have set the temperature at 330 degrees, and you'll see it will curl the fiber. So I want to make sure that I get all of these synthetic heat friendly fiber strands in the right direction. Now the trick to curling heat friendly fiber is that you hold it until it cools. Once it cools, the curl or straightening will be set. So see there, 330 degrees certainly did curl this style. So I'm gonna come over here and do this next one. And I can feel that the fibers are still quite warm as, you know, a few seconds have passed. Oh, and then gently let it go. You don't want to put too much fiber in the curling iron at once. Now this particular barrel curling iron is ceramic. So it's made to slip the hair out after a few seconds so that it doesn't burn. Just want to make sure that the fiber is going away from my face. I don't like it when one side of the wig is away from my face and the other side of the wig is curling towards the face. I have finished curling Pike Place, and as you can see, the result is beautiful. I just love how now the fibers are all laying uniform and away from the face in the direction that I wanted them to. Now, let's customize the part. When I want to pluck the part to make it a little bit more visible, yes, you can use tweezers. But I like to just take strands like this and I twirl it around my finger and I jerk it out. <laughs> now, a lot of people are very nervous about doing that. There is a technique to it. Uh, you certainly want to be very careful because if you pull too much fibers out at the same time, you could rip the lace part. So you want just very few, see that, very few strands and jerk it out. And you continue to do this along the parting space until it looks like you want it to. You can see as I've pulled out fibers along the parting space that it is becoming wider. You can you can see how I've plucked the part from the underside. And now I will use scar tape, which you can buy at any pharmacy. It's flesh colored and sticky. And I will apply it to the underside of the part to make the part stand out more. So I've got the scar tape and it just peels apart the sticky part from the plastic. And then here I have pike place, and I'm going to apply it to the underside of the lace part. Now you may have to 
Do it a couple of times to make sure that it's centered and where you need it to be. Now that I have plucked the parting space and have it as wide as I desire it to be, I have my curling iron on 330 degrees and I will gently apply heat so that the fibers lay down in the direction that I need them to, to show off this part. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you how I customize my wigs. Now, if you have any tips or advice for customizing wigs, we would love to hear them. Please leave those in the comments section below the video. And if you'd like to purchase Pike Place or any Beltress style, visit Shirley'sWigShop.com. She's got a wonderful website showing you all of the color choices. She makes it very easy to purchase. And if you use the discount code GORGEOUSU, you will get a 30% off discount. Be sure to subscribe to Wig Review Central YouTube so that you never miss a how-to video, wig review, color comparison video, and much, much more. Thank you so much for your support. Bye-bye.